Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comments, want to see any videos, leave them down below um, in the uh, comments. But with that being said, let's jump into it like always. Okay, so today is more of a think or swim tutorial of how to set up bracket orders for uh, stop market bracket orders what these type of orders are are these are going to be more for doing um let's say i want to buy above this area right here right i want to put an order to get long at 1680 well if and let's just say it was a uh, 1980 okay this number um if i want to get long i could come to the bracket Okay, I would just go to uh, trigger with bracket. I would put the order in. So let's say uh, plus 0 0.10 with a stop loss of 0 0.20 cents, right? And what this will do is if my trigger would be 1680, I would just come over here above the current market and click buy stop, right? And what that is, is it's a stop market, meaning if price rallies and prints 15, eight or 1680, um, what would happen is it would send a market order and then I could get filled anywhere from there. But there are times where when, when you trade illiquid stocks or like these momentum stocks, penny stocks, a lot of times what happens we'll get really bad fills so one way to stop that is to use what's called a stop limit order and that's what we're going to go over right now so if we come over here we right click on our mouse go to buy custom and then we'll create with oco bracket order okay so over here we're getting buy and then our sell orders and let's say we want to buy 100 shares okay and sell 100 and then sell 100 right it's a bracket order just like what i just showed you but this is going to be a stock market so over here instead of it being a limit we want to change this limit to a stop market okay oh, sorry a stop um limit order and you could see we now have the stop and stop limit and what this is is this is kind of saying hey when the well we'll just say when 1915 gets hit we don't want to pay any more than 1917 okay so we're willing to give up two cents of risk or three cents right of slippage we can either be filled in 1915 1916 or 1917 but nothing above now the problem with this trade is if there are no trades in between that level and you don't get filled and price kind of like gaps you know how stocks all of a sudden will just jump maybe five cents really quick and there are really no trades going off because you can see all that in level two well what will happen is you never get a fill and price could just run and you kind of miss the trade i'm okay with that because i personally would rather miss a trade than get five or ten cents of slippage i've had trades where i get long in 1901 and i'm not filled until 19 15 right that well my target was 1911 a 10 cent target that kind of defeats the whole purpose right and a lot of times by the time you get filled it's already come back down and now it's kind of like wow that trade sucked right uh that trade didn't work the way you planned it so what this does the stop limit really helps you to be able to manage where you want your stops to go um or like to get long but you're not willing to accept any more than three cents of risk 15 16 or 17 cents right so once you have this set up 
will come down here in our target because it's a limit once you're long it's a limit order right we will put it 19 uh 25 or it'll actually go to 17 whatever the highest number is right that's a 10 cent target and then on the downside uh we'll go 19 uh 18 97 right so the way this trade would work is get long at 15 actually let's change that to 15 i'm sorry do 15 not the 17 because 17 is our highest price but what will happen is they'll readjust it once the order if you get filled at 17 it just knows that we want actually sorry 1925 right is our target and then our stop is 1895 which is 20 cents so it's a 10 cent target and 20 cent stop loss so once we have this all set up the way we want 100 shares right buy 100 at 15 no more than 17 and our target is 10 cents higher our stop loss is 20 you want to come down to this save custom order template and what we'll do is we'll erase what's currently in here and we'll just call this xxx for right now easy so we know where to find it right we click on save and that's it we could delete that order we can now go back to our chart and let's kind of look at real time let's say we want to get long above this high if you remember the last video we were talking about right 1963 so we'll say hey let's get long in 1964 okay one one penny above we want price to confirm with that one penny above we'll come over here click on it and now what it's done is it's actually put a stop limit at 65 right because sometimes you gotta be perfect just kind of drop that down one and what will happen is you will now see the order right here to where it's going to go up um so the one thing that looks like i kind of messed up on here was going back here to the order right let's kind of go back here let's add this and so right here this is why it's wrong because it went to 23 right so let's do this 25 25 um limit 17 there you go this is sorry this is the correct way um it should be the higher number click okay let's drop this down go to the triple x we'll resave this yes override it right delete that go back to the chart we'll delete this do the same thing put our mouse on 1964 right click buy custom go to the xxx and now we have it should be in perfect 1965 with a 10 cent target 10 cent stop or a 20 cent stop and what will happen is we won't get filled more than two cents if it if there are no trades there and what will happen is if there are any trades that trade um between will get filled maybe a penny or two but if it goes above and doesn't pull back okay if it just goes up and just keeps going we'll never get a fill now if price goes up right to we'll say our entry is 65 if it if there's no trades it goes to 70 we won't get filled but then if it pulls back within our couple cent range that's when we'll actually get filled but it needs to come back to 65 to trigger it and then it'll enter us on there so i hope this video helps you of how to place a uh, stop limit orders okay which are totally different than just a stop order so remember stop order is it's a stop once that stop gets hit if it triggers a market order where you can get filled at the wherever the market is 
um, in a fast moving market, it could really hurt you. A stop limit order is you're saying, I don't want to pay more than this price. So that's how you do it. Now, one last thing, you cannot do these or the stop limit via the bracket. You have to do it via the chart. So just right click, go to buy custom, and then you would come down here to your triple X and do it like that. So I hope that helps. Um, as always, thank you for watching uh, these videos. Sorry if it was, I kind of made a little mistake. I'll admit when I make mistakes um, of the order entry, but we did correct it. So make sure um, you understand that. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.